so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. fighters in the world, and what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight, but if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division, and Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Nice combination of kicks. That beautiful jab. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it. Making all these shots count. Marco Menov's back in half guard, very comfortable here. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Busy as he looks to improve position here. Nurmagomedov going for the takedown, but unable to land. Massive knee lands from the tight It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. And there's a takedown attempt. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up, so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, back and forth we go. Able to work it into a takedown there. Three minutes. Got his guard pass. Now changing up his level, goes with the elbow to the body. Real good ground and pound here by Nurmago Meta. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's got the Kamora locked in. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Marco Medov's in half guard now. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Now he's on top, exactly where he wanted to go. Oh, reverses the position there. Nice transition by Nurmago Medov. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now. They're popping for the third side. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fifth. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Nurmago Medov stack in half guard. He's very comfortable here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Now he's going full mount. Yep, got to be very careful there. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, he caught out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sucked. Oh, nice block. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands with the Ooh, big shot, man. 
Well, Habib Nurmagomedov might have been able to win a kickboxing match here tonight, but taking the path of least resistance and really having his way. And John, I think that points to the fight IQ, knowing that you possess all the skills, but you stay in your wheelhouse. You take your opponent down over and over again and try to drown him. Habib has long said he will take you in the deep water. He has done that tonight, and that is why he's been so successful. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up. Being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Nurmagomedov. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Round two straight ahead. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, Ready, right? He's a grinder. Ready. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop him. Yes, because he's always changing it up. The first time, it may be a high crotch injury. The second time, you may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find space for his ground and pound. All right, just like we saw in the previous round, the takedown is there at will. He actually wanted a side wager if you want over 10 takedowns tonight. You wouldn't take the bait, and perhaps it's a good thing. Yeah, that's such a high number. So while it seems tempting, you got to turn away from it. Hey, a bet's only a bet because they know they also have the ability to win. Sorry. This guy knew. Nermago Medov's going for the sub here. That Dars is tight. Back to his feet, good sign for him there. Up the single collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, <laughs> you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look as good in the boxing today. He throws all of himself into that kick. Three minutes to go in round two. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. Oh, nice land there by Nermago Manoff. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over the next week. Hook in the clinch there is good by Nermago Manoff. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Misses again with a right punch. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Landed that left hook. Man, he has a great double leg. Oh, my goodness, he has a great double leg. Yep, that good team's deep. Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition to side mount as he counters the guillotine by the Mexican Von Flucho here. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. 
Well, he has expended a lot. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting. Setting up another submission. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, gives up on the submission now. So preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. I need you to scramble, scramble. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Oh, we'll see who has the edge. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Man, the takedowns have come in bunches tonight, and there is another one. That was his strategy coming in. He has executed to perfection tonight. It never works out perfectly. But today, it seems to be going as great as it can be. I know the takedowns don't look beautiful. They don't look perfect, but it doesn't matter. He's a submission guy. All he needs to do is get you to the ground. Right. So even if it looks a little bit bad being there, he is accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's to make you grapple with him. Mago Madoff going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Good run. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so there is the horn. That means the round is over. We nearly had a finish due to a submission, but I think you got to give credit Great. to both the offense and the Great. defense. Yeah, you got to give credit to both guys, but nothing more beautiful than an extended grappling exchange like we just witnessed. One guy almost submitted, one guy escaping. It's one of the most exciting things you can watch in all of mixed martial arts. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, blocks that kick to the body, nicely done. And just misses with that big right hand. Out of range with that. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab. Nice hook lands. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Nurmagomedov gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking fits with unbelievable wrestling. Trying to establish that jab once again. Gets to the single collar tie. That knee attempt is blocked. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there, so mixing up the striking really well in this fight tonight. Fantastic fighter, but when he added knees to his game, he became even better. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Oh, they're trading good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Get 
gets in more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, nice inside kick. Nermago Medov goes for the takedown. Unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attempt. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. By working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Nurmago Medov's back in half goal. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's Nurmago Medov's now looking for a Darce choke. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Oh, he's out. Nice transition. He's got to start to get to the get-up process. Because everybody talks like you just get up, you don't. It's a process, right? You get to the underhook, you build to the elbow, then you start to gain height to get back to your feet. Short time down the road. Oh, right into Mount. What he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions, are what gets you submitted a lot of times. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Getting the ball here. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. <laughs> All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. So here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Pretty good straight punch there by Nermago Medov. He is going after that overhand right. That left hook was crazy. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Metal. There's his jab. Real quick leg kick. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Another big kick now. Oh, he 
Masters up in a big head strike by Nurmago Medov. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Change of the position. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Great ground and pound by this man. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. He's got to be careful here. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Nice reversal on the ground. Great job. Attempting a choke now. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Well, I mean, this is, this is high-level grappling by both of these guys. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. <laughs> Two minutes to go. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Habib's in half court. his mouth. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Meta. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking. Now he's trying to get to Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Looking for the submission once again. He's fighting. He wants this very bad. Looks like he's got that submission locked in. No, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work, he opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here to try to stop this fight. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. Ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Something fierce there. Great combination. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, man. You heard him back. Big right hand. Now we're going. Oh, big left hand. Nice level two. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attack. Oh, look out, folks, that is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, he got out. And he is back up to his feet. Back and forth we go. He's got the single collar tie. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. And 
Investing in the body with the kick there. Tags him with that uppercut. Came of inches right there. It was a good night if that landed. Another takedown land. Nermanko Medov's in half court. All right, working inside the closed guard now. And there you go, again, half guard. All right, side control now. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura. Notice he'll step over the head to try to get the Kimura. Neon belly, big strikes landing here. The crowd always laughs when they go no south, DC. Nicely done. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Big right hook there by the champ. All right, watch out for the setup here. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Two minutes now to go in this one. Oh, that will land it, yep. Single collar tie now. Uppercut lands. Snap your head back. Beautiful combination. Oh, you talk about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. Khabib's got him in a crucifix now. Gonna go to work from the top. Side control. Nurmagomedov's able to transition back to side control now. Under one minute to go, fifth and final round. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's time to Nurmagomedov's work. got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Let's go, get him off you, get him off. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me. Nurmagomedov's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, and he's out. All right, so he gets back to the feet. That was seemingly the only way he could win this fight. Down the stretch we come. Down the stretch, but on the feet. He was not going to win this fight from his back. He needed to get up. That was step number one. Step two, find the finish. Nice body kick there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Official decision now in the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nirvana Mera. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the